Welcome to the new Nahesas tutorial clip for the MX700 punching machine. It's characterized by its robustness and versatility. It can perform multiple job functions, such as punching operations on plate, tube, angle, profile U, T, UPN, IPN, folding, cutting, and it can be adapted to any kind of tooling, even if it's been created and manufactured by the very customer. Its versatility and easy handling make it an indispensable equipment for a steel world company. In order to make a punching operation, first we insert the die and screw it with the key. Then we insert the punch into the corresponding nut and screw it tightly. To center the punch, we get the piston down in the manual performance mode and we lift the die holder until the punch is inserted into it. Right after, we center the base with the punch and screw the base, making sure it's properly aligned. We get the punch down also in manual mode by adjusting the lower limit displacement until the punch is inserted just 2 millimeters into the die. It is very important not to put the punch in more than what's indicated. We place the stops to the desired distance. It's quite important to lubricate the punch and die every 200 punching operations. This simple gesture will guarantee a longer, useful life for the tooling. The punch diameter should always be bigger than the thickness of the sheet to be punched. This is one of the main causes of breakage. Depending on the punch size, we will use either one or another plate to improve the extraction and to avoid possible deformations in the punched piece. The upper limit switch will be adjusted just once the punch is inserted up into the extractor. The tool to perforate angles allows us to get as close as possible to the edge wall of the angle or any other profile. The stripper die will enable us to cut 90 degrees pieces on all types of sheets and profiles at different lengths. Side stops will be adjusted independently, so the desired dimensions could be achieved up to a maximum of 150 millimeters.
The folding tooling for 170 millimeters has two working V slots, one of 56 millimeters that allows us to fold thick plate of six millimeters up to 15 millimeters and the other V of 26 millimeters to fold thicknesses of 0.5 millimeters up to five millimeters. The folding degree will be regulated according to the height of the stroke end of the machine. When folding parts up to 300 millimeters, we can use a tool with different openings that allows the folding of sheets from 0.5 millimeters to 20 millimeters thick. The die consists of two different radii, a bigger one for thick plates and a smaller radius for smaller thicknesses. Depending on the thicknesses we use the die for, it will open more or less. The smaller the slot, the thinner the sheet thickness we will be able to fold. Pipe notching has always been a slow and laborious work. With the pipe notching tooling, the user will have the piece finished and ready to be welded in only two simple steps. The vertical cutting die allows the cut metal sheets and handrails from 0.5 millimeters thick up to 20 millimeters in a maximum length of 200 millimeters. It is essential to adjust the two supporting screws with their counter nut to guarantee a good cut and a correct operation. We assemble the punch of the ventilation grid with the pin and get it closer to the lower part of the tooling without colliding. Then we center it, aligning it to the die until both of them are adjusted at most in order to obtain a good cut.
With this tooling, we can make all the holes that are needed, depending on the part that we are going to make. To make arrows out of hollow pipes, we graduate the upper stroke limit according to the tube size. We move the die downward, closer to its lower part without colliding, leaving just the required space for pipe flattening. It is important to center the two side stops so that the arrow comes out completely straight. It is then when we will have the machine ready to work. The round bar die can cut mild steel, stainless steel, rods, and other materials up to 35 millimeters in diameter. The fence turnstile die is used in two operations. The first operation flattens and cuts the pipe. The second performs the hole depending on the punch size that has been chosen. With the angle cutting tool, we can make quick and perfect cuts at 90 degrees. Then, by only adding two guides, one to the right and one to the left, we can also cut at 45 degrees. We manufacture all sorts of dies to get rounded shapes on flat bar ends, on different lengths, widths, thicknesses, with or without holes, in only one stroke. The tooling cuts the beginning of one piece and the end of another, so it allows the user to manufacture pieces of different lengths by using the same tool. The MX700 can be adapted any type of die to punch different shapes, such as the arrow making tool to fabricate fences in an economical way.
We also have the possibility of getting plates corners rounded at different radii. Robustness, reliability, versatility, easy handling, fast setup, 350 millimeters neck, 160 millimeters of piston stroke, a large and wide table of 600 by 350 millimeters with a central hole for the evacuation of parts, make out of the MX700 one of the best hydraulic punching machines on the market. We set the upper limit switch to the desired size. We operate the machine in automatic mode. The piston moves to the upper limit. Then we set the lower limit switch and proceed to perform the operation. It's got an incorporated parts counter. In manual mode, the piston only descends. It does not go back. It is used to center and fix the different tooling. In automatic mode, the piston goes down and then it moves upwards automatically. Safety device. When the red light is on, we can work with the machine without the protection screen. At the moment we deactivate this device, we can only work when the protection screen lowered. One of the best features of this machine is to have the possibility to be adapted any type of tooling in a very simple way. By uniquely using a nut and one adapter, any die could be fixed to it by its upper part. Next, we will display some of the applications of all kinds that has been manufactured for different Narhesas customers. From small companies to large automotive multinationals like Ford and Nissan.
thanks on behalf of all NARHESA team.